Welcome to my chambers. Can the special prosecutor, Robert Mueller, use FBI agents to get, to get copies of the emails used by the Donald Trump transition team? And can he do so without involving a judge? Short answer is yes. This is a bit of a complicated case, but when Donald Trump became president, he did the right thing and formed a corporation to serve as his transition manager to take him from private life to presidency. Under federal law, that corporation's bills are paid for by the federal government, an entity called the GSA, the Government Services Administration. The GSA provided the transition team with computers, the actual computers, the software for the computers, and the server for the computers. Every time somebody in the transition team used one of the government computers, they saw a note saying, all of this is the property of the federal government, including the email you're about to write and any email you've received. Donald Trump becomes president. The transition goes out of business. There's no need for it anymore. A receiver is appointed, a lawyer to wind it down, to close it up. And then Bob Mueller comes calling with FBI agents at the GSA, which has all of the transition emails saying, can you give us the Trump transition emails? The answer, yes. Under the law, they were government property. Under the law, when the FBI asked, the GSA had the permission to say yes or no. They said yes. They should have told the transition or what remained of it about this, but they didn't. Back in 1986, the law changed. Before 1986, if the federal government wanted documents of yours that were held by a third party, your doctor who has your medical records, your lawyer who has your legal records, your bank which has your banking records, if the FBI came calling it on any of those three pre-1986, the FBI had to tell you, we're looking for your records, here's the subpoena, that authorizes us to get them, but we're gonna wait 10 days in case you wanna challenge this subpoena. After 1986, the Bank Privacy Act of 1986, which had nothing to do with protecting privacy, the government does not have to tell you when they go to a custodian of your records that they are there. The custodian has to tell you. If the custodian fails, the government still gets the records. And that's what happened here. Bob Mueller's FBI agents went to the GSA. The GSA failed to tell the transition people or what remained of them. And they've got tens of thousands of emails of former Donald Trump transition workers, many of whom are now in the West Wing of the White House working on the president's staff. And then it went and interrogated them. And they didn't know that the FBI had their emails. Is this case going away soon? I don't think so. But before the end, it's Christmas in America. 2,000 years ago, light came into darkness in the form of the Son of God who came to set us free. Merry Christmas. Fight the good fight. For freedom!